Hey guys, welcome into the Morgan Overholt Mix. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing this camera backpack from BagSmart. All right, so lately I've been on a journey to find the perfect bag that I could take with me when I go on my content creation journeys. A little bit of background on me, I am a full-time content creator and freelancer, so I'm on the move quite a bit and need a backpack that could really work with my needs. Ideally, something that could either hold a small laptop or an iPad, and most importantly, my DSLR camera and my extra lens. Believe it or not, that's actually kind of a difficult thing to find because a lot of backpacks are either super, super big, especially for women, right? And really, really bulky on your shoulders, have a lot of weight, or they don't have all the features that I just mentioned. This bag, to me, really kind of was that trifecta. It's the only bag, in fact, that I was able to find with the specific things that I've been looking for. So let's take a really quick tour of the bag and talk about all of its features. At the time of this recording, it retails between $39 and $40 on Amazon, depending on whether or not you choose pink or black. It also comes in two different sizes, medium or large. I actually got a medium because again, I'm a fairly petite woman and I wanted something that wasn't gonna be too crazy heavy for me. Now let's talk about some of the cool features on this bag. First and foremost, you have here on the side, you have a tripod holder. Now, technically speaking, I'm probably gonna more often use this as a water bottle holder because I spend a lot of my times trekking through theme parks. But what's really cool about this is you can actually put a full-size tripod in here if you, if you kind of fold it up and you can clip it on for extra storage, right? So you could actually put something quite large in this particular pocket. Sure, it's gonna stick out a little bit, but I really like that. Also means you could probably put a pretty tall water bottle in there. And of course, you can also unclip clip this and you can also adjust it as necessary. The second thing that I want to address is this water resistant material, which is really nice and also very important in case you get stuck in the rain or you want to take it on a water ride at a theme park where you might get a little bit of a sprinkle. I wouldn't necessarily though take this on a ride like Splash Mountain because you're going to get more of a sprinkle there, but it's good to know I've got some protection should I need to run um, out of the rain. But I know what you're thinking, Morgan, what if I get stuck in a downpour or do you want to take this bag somewhere where there's going to be a lot of water? No worries. It also comes with this handy dandy rain cover without covering the back straps. So you can actually carry it and make sure that your valuables are protected. Now let's kind of give you a tour of the inside of the bag. There are two main things I really loved about the way the inside of this bag works. The first is this side compartment for quick access. This is actually meant for reaching for a DSLR camera or something like that if you need to quickly kind of wrap it around and grab the camera out. This is me having my theme park day. Oh, need to quickly grab my camera. Let me just unzip this and pull the camera out. The other cool thing I like about this is that for a DSLR backpack, as you know, so many DSLR backpacks or camera backpacks have this way of zipping from the back, right? And theoretically, you would be able to reach in and see all of your stuff. The problem with this design, however, is that most backpacks, unless you have them laying face down like this, when you open up the bag, everything is going to come spilling out. Not with this backpack. With this backpack, when you unzip the back of the bag, what you're gonna find, in addition to that laptop compartment or iPad compartment that I mentioned earlier, which in the medium-sized bag will hold a 13.3 inch laptop or an iPad Pro, you actually have this protective barrier here on the back, which really kind of provides that extra layer of protection. It's very thin, so I'm not talking about protection from like a safety standpoint if you get knocked um, once the bag is open. What I'm talking about is if you forget and you open up the bag, your valuables are not gonna become, come spilling out, which is really nice. Then you can unzip it safely. And look what we have on the inside. We have all these fun compartments. Oh look, and my lens. I forgot that was in there actually. This bag actually comes with up to five different removable compartments. I've already sort of got mine situated in the way that I would like, but as you can see, each compartment has a little piece of Velcro around it and you can sort of attach it to the sides or the top in whatever fashion that you would like to sort of further compartmentalize or create these little um, cubbies inside of the bag and really sort of make this bag your own. I will say, I don't think this bag would be great for like a super professional photographer that's carrying around a gigantic camera and a multitude of lenses. I personally carry around the Canon EOS M50, which is more of like a starter DSLR um, and one extra lens. So this bag is more than enough for me. And I think if most professional photographers were only carrying around maybe like you know, a smaller DSLR and maybe a couple of lenses, this would be more than ideal. If you've got more than that, you might wanna consider upgrading to the larger size bag. And again, what's really cool about this 
is that if you open up the side compartment, and I'll show you from this angle so you can really see, I can reach in really quickly and grab whatever I have in this compartment. And I can, again, configure these in any configuration I would like. I will also say that each one of these little foam pads is actually quite thick, so I would feel very confident about keeping my valuables in this bag. Just to make sure that we're testing this out correctly, let's see if my iPad Pro fits. Snug as a bug in a rug, with plenty of extra space to spare. The next feature that I really love the trolley. The back of this backpack not only features this really nice moisture wicking material, which will be great on a hot day where you're gonna be sweating a lot. It's not gonna feel like it's sticky on your back. With padded straps, by the way, which is also really gonna help if you are carrying something a little bit heavier. In fact, this entire bag with empty weighs less than two pounds. I think it's like 1.6 pounds. So very, very light from the get go and very, very comfortable straps in case you do need to load it down. This is one of my favorite features and it's so simple. Bag makers, pay attention. Everyone should have this. This is actually a trolley strap. So if you do wanna add this to your luggage, it's going to make it just a little bit easier for you to carry. It's right over most luggage, like so, super easy. And then you can take this thing all over the place. Last but not least, this bag also features lots of little loops, which make carrying super simple. I own several clippers. By the way, I love clippers. If you've never used a clipper before, I'm also gonna put this affiliate link in the description of this video because I think everybody should have a handful of these in their home. But a clipper is essentially a bag holder. It looks like a bracelet, so you can carry it around that way. It looks like a stylish bracelet, actually, I might add. But you can carry it around that way. It opens up super easy. It's got this nice little rubbery inside, which isn't going to damage any table that you put this on. Very nice and soft, yet it has a good grip on it. But you can put this right here and you can essentially use it to hang your backpack anywhere you are. Let's say you're in a bathroom and the bathroom doesn't have a hook on it or you're at a restaurant with a table and really terrible chairs that you can't strap this to, the clippa is gonna have you covered. And look at how many different places I could actually apply my clippa. It's got these little compartments all over the place and I just really, really love that versatility. I love loops because it just kind of gives you a lot of options. And of course, it's even got one here on the side, which is also pretty cool. Overall, I think I'm really going to love using this bag. It's kind of funny because in the Amazon reviews, the number one complaint people say is that it's smaller than they expected, which is actually a selling point for me because when I was looking for a bag, everything else felt incredibly bulky. If, you if you're looking at this video right now or you're looking at this bag right now in this video and you're thinking, ah, oh, that is too small for me, just consider upgrading to the large. Remember, this is the medium and I think that will more than have you covered. Overall, guys, I am insanely impressed with this bag. I think it's not only functional, but it's also kind of cute. I highly recommend, if you'd like to check it out, I'll have the link in the description that you can shop for yourself. It's available both on Bagsmart and Amazon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to tune in next time.